highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Crooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. The name Rosebury is derived from Archibald Philip Primrose, the 5th Earl of Rosebury, who visited Australia in 1883-84 and later became Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. In 1855, a licence was granted to the Halfway House Hotel on Botany Road. The hotel's name marked its location halfway between the city and La Perouse. After the opening of a second Halfway House Hotel on the Epsom Road corner of Botany Road, it became known as the Old Halfway House Hotel. In the 1880s, it was purchased by James Thornton, who rebuilt it and named it the New Market. Keating's Halfway House Hotel on Botany Road at the corner of Epsom Road opened in 1879. Today's Hotel Rosebury is the third hotel to occupy the site. In 1882, tenders were called for the erection of Gardner's Road School. From 1913, it was a primary school with a junior technical college. A home science school was added in 1922. In 1960, it reverted to solely a primary school. The first meeting at Rosebury Park Racecourse took place in March 1895. On that day, two jockeys were injured in separate accidents. One resulted in a fatality. The final race meeting was in 1906. Between 1911 and 1914, New South Wales AFL used the race course as a football ground. In 1927, it became the mascot coursing ground for greyhounds. The ground was also used for athletics, rugby league and cycling. The name was changed to Shepherd's Bush in 1932. The Greyhound course was converted into the Shepherd's Bush Speedway in 1937. It was resumed by the government for wartime defence purposes in 1941. Today the site is occupied by a number of industrial companies. A new Rosebury Park race course opened in August 1907. It was located on Gardner's Road, about half a mile east of the original one. During World War I, the race course was used by the 1st Light Horse, other light horse regiments, infantry training and citizen forces. Today, a light horse memorial stands at the former entry gates of the race course. In 2015, the reserve in which it stands was renamed Light Horse Reserve. It was used again by the military during World War II. A camp was established for volunteers who had no previous military training. The first 300 recruits were housed in a grandstand that also doubled as a mess hall. After World War II, the racecourse was briefly used as a return stores depot. In 1961, the Sydney Turf Club sold the racecourse to property developers. The suburb of East Lakes was created. Six acres on the eastern and western edges of the course were reserved for the Housing Commission of New South Wales. Noted architect Harry Seidler designed a Housing Commission unit block on Maloney Avenue. The Rosebury Skating Rink, established by James Thornton, opened in 1913 next to his Newmarket Hotel. The skating rink was converted into a picture and vaudeville house called the Rosebury Picture Palace in late 1914. It became an all-picture venue in the 1920s and was known for a time as Thornton's Picture Palace. The building was demolished in 1959. The Manhattan Super Bowl opened on the former cinema site in 1993. Rosebury, a model industrial and residential suburb, was planned by architect John Solman in 1911 and developed by Stanton and Sons between 1911 and 1920. Stanton was also responsible for the development of Haberfield. The suburb was to be a blend of residential and industrial areas, separated by green spaces. A covenant for the estate gave cottages a distinctive pattern and character. No two were exactly the same. They had to be one storey and double fronted, have backyards and be divided by lanes. The scheme also allowed for the creation of shops and other commercial outlets within the estate, as well as community and recreational facilities. To create interest in the Rosebury Estate, the Town Planning Company of Australia launched a street naming competition 
inviting the public to suggest a name for each street. Stanton offered a first and second prize, valued at £10 and £5, for the best names, with himself to be sole arbiter of the entries. Some street names associated with British parliamentarians are Morley and Asquith Avenues and Crewe Place. Rothschild was the maiden name of the Earl of Rosebery's wife. In 1915, a newspaper report commented, Three years ago, the area was an aggregation of sand hills, low-lying Chinese gardens and duck ponds, most forbidding in every respect, and suggested itself more as a site for a debris dumping ground than a site for residential area. The new suburb was intended to contain 1,500 residences not all the lots were sold. In 1926, the Waterloo Council purchased 15 lots to create a large park, which became Turrawal Park. The Marina Picture Palace opened in 1927 and finally closed in 1984. It became video mania. A proposed demolition of the building will retain the Gardner's Road facade. Tooth & Company opened the Lakes Hotel in 1938. The lease of the Empress of India Hotel on Botany Road, Alexandria, was transferred to this site to create the new pub. At that time, Rosebery Park Racecourse was nearby. Numerous industries were located at Rosebery. McLeod Soap Company's sandstone building on Mentmore Avenue was originally located in Pitt Street, Sydney. It was demolished in 1916 and the façade was rebuilt on the Rosebery Estate and the building named Mentmore House. Today, the one and all organisation is located in the building. From 1875, James Steadman owned a confectionery business in George Street, Sydney. In 1916, the company merged with Henderson Sweets, noted for their herbal cough drops. The merged company was known as James Steadman Henderson Sweets. In 1918, operations were moved to Rosebury. The site was named Sweet Acres. The factory was designed by architect John Bircham Clamp. For the 1,000 employees, there was a large canteen and social hall, sports and cricket grounds, a library, band and sports clubs. The company created some of Australia's most iconic lollies. Minties were invented in 1922. By 1925, the Rosebury factory was producing a million minties per day. Fantails were created shortly after the talkies arrived and were produced as a suite to be sold to moviegoers. On their wrappers were fantails, brief biographies of movie stars. Jaffers, the chocolate-coated orange balls that were rolled down the aisles at Saturday movie matinees, were first made in 1931. They were named after a town in Palestine where oranges were grown for export. In 1967, Sweet Acres took over another Australian confectionery company, Hoadley's, and the Rosebury site was closed. A park and three streets have been named as a tribute to its history. Sweet Acres Park, Sweet and Stedman Streets and Confectioner's Way. The Wrigley's factory in Crew Place was built in 1918. The US-owned factory made chewing gum brands, Juicy Fruit, PK and Spearmint. In 1958, the company moved to Asquith. The building was then occupied by Marvelcraft, which manufactured plastic sheeting. From the mid-1980s, it was a sports centre and then office space. Today, the building has been converted to 43 warehouse apartments and is part of the Bircham Precinct, named after its architect, John Bircham Clamp. In 1918, Park Davis opened laboratories and chemical works at Rosebury. A five-storey administrative office and warehouse adjoining the laboratory were opened in 1930. The company moved to Caring Bar in 1954. The premises were purchased by the New South Wales Department of Main Roads. When a new motor registry was erected, the 1930 building was demolished. Today, all the buildings have been demolished for an apartment block called Otto Rosebury. R.C. Henderson produced ladies' millinery, felt Panama and straw hats. In 1920, land was purchased on Hayes Road to establish a dye works, felt mill 
and a factory to process material for straw hats. The company was a major manufacturer of women's hats. The former factory is now the Haysbury. Another hat company, Akubra, was located on Rothschild Avenue. Nestles was founded in 1867 in Switzerland. The company merged with the Anglo-Swiss Condensed Milk Company in 1905. Australia became the company's second biggest export market and a decision was made to set up a business there. Factories established around Australia included one at Rosebury. In 1921, the Target Woolen Mill was established by Mark Foys in Harcourt Avenue. It employed over 130 people in a modern mill manufacturing blankets, tweed and other clothing fabrics. An engineering works was built on Dunning Avenue for Bussacott and Company, the former Rosebury Engine Works, in 1921. It became Westinghouse Rosebury. During World War II, the Electricity Meter Manufacturing Company operated there as Annex No. 15, producing fuses and primers. In 1950, the site was occupied by Westinghouse Rosebury and air control equipment. Ownership was transferred to Email Limited in 1969. James Rook and Friends started the business Metal Polish and Linoleum Cream, which became Shines Limited in 1909. At Rosebury, Shines produced French polishes from quality grades of shellac. In the mid-1900s, they moved to Peakhurst. In 1924, Waygood Otis Elevators built a new factory on Dunning Avenue. Otis elevators were made for Australian buildings from the 1920s until the 1950s. The property was later occupied by Service Industries, the Masonite Corporation, Law Land Australia and the Government Insurance Office of New South Wales. In 2009, the building was converted for clothing design, production, storage, distribution and sales. Rosella Preserving and Manufacturing Company opened a factory in 1925. After its closure, it became an aristocrat poker machines warehouse. The factory is now part of a food, drink and design precinct known as the cannery. Rosebury Engine Yards is the transformation of an unused industrial site. The development includes commercial and showroom tenancies, a childcare centre, retail food and beverage precincts. It is the site of the former Commonwealth Weaving Mills, Frederick Rose and Westinghouse factories. In 1933-34, the southern section of the site was constructed for laminated timber manufacturer Frederick Rose. The northern buildings were constructed for Commonwealth Weaving Mills Limited. The factory produced dry glow towels. It was taken over by Bonds Industries in 1945, which continued to produce under the dry glow trademark. The Cyclone Fence and Gate Company established its Sydney factory at Rosebury in 1937. The company was one of the country's major producers of welded wire and steel gates, fences, play equipment, scaffolding and other wire and steel products. The property was transferred to Roots Australia in 1960 to be a depot for receiving assembled motor vehicles. In 1966, ownership was transferred to Chrysler. The building is now part of the Cannery Precinct. In 1937, the Everready Company moved from Surrey Hills to a new building on Harcourt Parade. Because of the dangerous nature of battery manufacturing, the building was constructed of reinforced concrete. The factory became offices and light industrial space in the late 1990s, today the site of a modern office complex. Original street names have changed. Ackland Avenue is now Hayes Road and Paul's Road is Dunning Avenue. Today, Rosebury continues to have a mix of residential, commercial and industrial developments. High-density housing projects, such as the Rothschild, are replacing long-standing industrial factories. If you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel. It's free. Coming soon. Fairfield a diverse multicultural city. And check out our website, stpeterscooksriverhistory.wordpress.com or visit us the first Saturday of every month from 1.30 to 4.30 at 187 Princess Highway, St Peter's.